activate both light and darkness. Okay, this is beautiful. If I look at you and uh, I ask you the question, are you just pure light? Or is there some darkness in you? What is the nature of this darkness? Is this something that is naturally horrible or evil? Of course not. Of course not. Society has been conditioning us, especially through religious beliefs, that everything that is dark is evil. Okay, so we're going to dissolve that story. We are going to dissolve this uh, story that is being bombarded towards us in uh, movies and in uh, Christian religion and so on, right? We are going to look at it from the Taoist perspective. You have light vibration, you have darkness vibration, and the two of them, those two polarities, play with each other. Inside of us, light and darkness are making love. Okay, so if I arrive somewhere in a public place and I go like, I love my darkness, <laughs> right? I am master of my darkness. People are going to be like, oh, I'm not sure if I can fully embrace that. And the reason why it's precisely because it's conditioning. We have associations with darkness that are not what darkness is for me. Within the tantric field, you have light and darkness and the two polarities are playing with each other. Darkness is not tainted by being good or bad. It simply is as a polarity of life. Okay? So now that we know that, we want to be masters of light and darkness. And in darkness, you are going to have, of course, shadows. You are going to have toxicity. You are going to have horrible things that people are doing in the flow of expressing their darkness. So darkness doesn't need to be always mature. Sometimes it is immature. Sometimes it is toxic. We totally accept that, agree with that. Now we move into the field of mature darkness, which is engaging, for instance, for myself as a man with protective power towards my family, engaging with desire to contribute to the planet of mankind. And to be able to do that is not just me floating around with my light vibration. I need to engage with my warrior power, okay? So when you are in a relationship and you want to polarize with your partner, now we go back to relationship, we go back to romantic situations, when you can only play with one frequency, which would be, for instance, the frequency of light, that's fantastic. You know, you have resonance between uh, the feminine and masculine polarities. This is beautiful. But now, if you cannot play with darkness, you cannot play with shadows, then that there is going to be a, a very strong limitation. Most of the times you are going to have a romantic period where everything is fine, and then boom, you have the first fight, the first trigger, the first confrontation that might come, then you realize, okay, now we need to move our relationship to the next level. And what this means is you need as a couple, as individuals as well, to start owning your darkness or create a darkness vehicle for your relationship. This is called dark coupling, and it's a quality or a flavor that you want to integrate into uh, your relationship. You want to be both beautiful and romantic and connecting with each other from that specific place of uh, freedom and lovemaking and, and beauty, and sometimes you need to engage your warrior power. This is what you want to understand and what you want to bring in the context of your relationship. So when you play with polarities, it's not just like into the light or into the darkness, it's being able to modulate and play with both. Sometimes as a man, I'm going to be into my darkness, into my protective darkness, into my mature darkness, and my partner, my female partner, might be in her light vibration. And sometimes I will be with somebody, with a woman, who is going to be really intense and deeply grounded in her darkness. She might be aggressive in a mature way. She might be really confrontational as well in a mature way. And my job, my role as a man is to be able to modulate and play with this vibration, this energy. Sometimes I'm going to stay in the light and sometimes I'm going to join her in the darkness so that we can see where the, the, the highest vibration or the peak experience is going to kick in. And it's very important to be able to play with all those different frequencies, not just one frequency. 
Otherwise, it becomes boring and becomes stagnant. You want to keep on evolving. And to keep on evolving, it's a little bit like if you are traveling this earth, you want to experience different landscapes. You want to experience different places. You want to be able to navigate life from a place of curiosity and be like, hey, what happens if we explore this forest? And what if we go into the desert? What if we go sailing across the ocean? What if we engage into business? What if we disappear in a cave and meditate together for the next three years? Right? These are the kind of uh, different flavors that we want to bring in the relationship so that we can keep on evolving together.